I am stunned. I really am. These two devices, which combine costs around 170, 80 euros, brings so much value that I am floored. I really am. And this was an eye-opening experience for me as I thought you need a lot more to spend to get this quality. And Fossi just opened my eyes. I mean, add around 70 euros more to buy Fossi K5 DAC and create a full integrated system. The utility of P3 and V3 can be used as a many different uses. And there are two major scenarios which are probably the most common. And that is as part of hi-fi system, as preamp and amp combo, and as part of your computer streaming capabilities with external DAC and preamp with active speakers. But the one most close to me is of course this acting as power to my passive speakers. And I will not review this as two individual products for this scenario, but speak about synergy to power your passive speakers. And let's speak to what you first see, and that is a build quality, and just how small and compact they are. Both of them can fit easily wherever you want. Will that be on your desk, next to your PC, or on a table along with other components of your system? And they are very lovely built, with buttons being stable and firm. I do not feel like Fossi skipped material quality here. Maybe we can speak about the purpose of both of these two devices, as they cannot work individually. Pre-amplifier or line level amplifier is a device that takes the digital signal from DAC and turns it into line level signal that your speakers can reproduce. Also, a lot of character of sound is built and created in pre-amplifier but the line level signal usually is really low, so it will be not able to drive any speakers. And that, and that point in time is when the power amplifier comes into play, which takes that line level signal and boosts it so it can drive your passive speakers to reasonable and high levels. We have V3, a class D power amplifier. This is a two channel amp that on Fossi website says that it is able to do 300 watts. Now that is one big if and it depends on dependency and your power supply. As V3 comes in three bundles with 32 watts and 48 watts 5A, including 48 watts gun power supply. And to achieve that fable 300 watts, you need speakers to operate in 4 amps, but also to have a power supply that is 48 watts 10A, which Fossi does not sell in a bundle here, but separately, and it costs alone around 110 euros. But to me, the middle option, the one that I have of 48 watts 5A is more than enough. It provides 230 and 115 watts in 4 ohm and 8 ohms respectively. And that is, if you have amps like this, it is more than enough power to drive a lot of speakers. I highly doubt somebody will take Fossi to drive Magna Pumps or some $3,000 speakers, but I digress. The connectivity is a very simple, with line in and speakers out. But this kind of stereo amps are usually used as a bridge between sort of like preamps and decks and speakers. So simple connectivity is not so strange here. P3 is a pre-amplifier. It is to be precise a tube pre-amplifier. That then being tubes will be very beneficial, but I will explain that a little bit later. You can control the digital signal with treble and bass controls. It is a great add-on for adjusting sound to fit your room's resonances and limitations. If it is too boomy and too bright, well, you know what to do. You can connect P3 via RCA or via Bluetooth, and the additional Bluetooth is a nice add-on, as it comes in a nice aptX HD. There's also a headphone output, but I did not test this, so you will have to go to some other reviewers to learn about how good are the headphones out. It is a device that takes information from your players or from DAC and makes them warm and rich. 
As I said earlier, this too combines power that is needed for your speakers. But what is the sound they mold? And let me tell you, these two devices combined create some amazing synergy. And I think the decision to pair Class D with tubes is actually a great idea. As personally, I am not a huge fan of Class D. Even though it is really efficient, I think sound is really dry and a bit sterile. It can create some magic with clear and transparent sonic pictures, which can at times have sometimes high treble. It could be a wonder if you like sound like that. It is just not my preference. But then, in other components, we have tubes, which are by nature warm sounding, as it is more weighty and full sound, which emphasizes a bass that have more definition and size. Defined and high treble, and rich and deep bass, sounds on two different dynamic spectrum merge together to create an audiophile magic. It truly is, as now sound is clean and clear, but also have a bit cheeky weight and definition. It takes a little bit from best of both worlds. Now, there is a minus in there, as this combination is not too warm, not having this beautiful warm and big sound, nor is it like super clear and transparent and very detailed. So lovers of both dynamic end of spectrum are not going to be blown away. But to me, this combination is better than both, especially in this price range. The sound really focuses on placing instruments correctly on soundstage and giving enough room to breathe and focus. That is certainly the greatest strength of this combination. And the reason I say that is because usually what happens when in cheaper devices there is a coloration in any directions, transparency and separation can get lost really easily. And there, the clarity between instruments is not so well defined. And here, the clarity between every instrumentation is defined, but also their body have a firm presence. Soundstage, while not having the biggest dispersion, is helped by crystallizing that separation and giving dynamics to every instrument, so that dispersion will not be grand, but Come on, it's really, really good in this price range. Great thing with addition of P3 is that it also gives certain warmth to instruments. So it gives them that sweet edge a little bit, grounding them with weight. Which is why I really enjoy this. It is not that P3 is bursting through the chain to be dominant, but it adds enough spice and life to the sound to create some mind-blowing sound in this price range. Decision for Fossi to build separate and not integrated is also a smart choice, as they can easily focus to push certain part of system chain to maximum of its capability in its price range. Many times in my reviews, I spoke of hi-fi components are misanthropes, as they love to be separated, and that is when they show their strength. And same can be said here. Clean input, lack of distortion to get that current inside machine to not switch between pre, amp and DAC, making isolating them far more easier for cleaner sound. And they are not constrained by size, making it truly easier to build max out of components possible. It is tale as all this time that hi-fi needs separate and not integrated to build that full sound. So having DAC, preamp and amp as separate boxes truly help to maximize the potential of this sound. Even cleanliness helps with vocals to cut through grain. I can hear them, they are dynamically present, and warm preamp helps them to be more weightier, giving them weight even though a little bit boxy as they do not open so much. But cleaning a sound did wonders for treble, as it was in top end clean enough to expose details. As driving sections of top end with percussions and cymbals, violinas had a good separation and exposure in dynamic section. 
and I tested this with another green world, a remaster from 2004. It is so well produced and even better mastered now. It is an art rock album with a lot of ambient textures and passages, but it also have prominent use of fuzz guitar. And now, why is that important for this review? As the album was produced with the visions of a great articulation and textures in drums and other instruments, I think Eno's love of African tribal instrumentalism showed here, as you can hear great separation but also a bunch of textures to them. And on St. Elmo's fire, Fosse did allow that separation to happen in top end and to be separated nicely from vocals, and guitars and sits in mids. And that fuzzy guitars have weight to them, not the weightiest weight of warm guitars, but certainly could color it in a specific way. So I wish more textures here in every aspect of sound, from vocals to percussions to guitars, but it separated nicely and it allowed that kind of instruments to have a nice presence. Investing in better DAC will help here. It was enjoyous audiophile experience with a very little money. It did present everything on a table with a great rounding of details and soundstage so that you understand that this amp excels above and beyond their price range. I think only minus that I see with separates beside taking more space, but as fossey devices are small, that is not such a big issue is that it requires additional investment in cables. And for a lot of other hobbies, cables are afterthoughts, but don't bottleneck and limit your device with bad cables. And no, I'm not saying that you need to shell out for cables about the price of this device, but some decent cables around 50 to 60 euros should do the trick on the long run. You need cables to connect your source to a preamplifier, or alternatively, transport to DAC and then to preamplifier and then to connect preamplifier to amp. That can add to costs of this device and are a hidden costs that you should consider. If you're interested in great cables that can really work well with this amp preamp, please look in the description of this video. Also, don't forget that in order to maximize your amp, you need to buy better power supplies, which is adding even more to a hidden costs. You need to be wary about that. This can add about even more 300 to 200 euros in costs. But the positive thing is about that is that it all stays for you in any future buy that you do. So it is like an investment in your future journeys in a hi-fi. And continually speaking about sound is kind of difficult with these devices. Do they justify their price? Yes, they really, really, really do. I don't know anything in this price range that delivers this much clean, powerful and dynamic sound. It is a must buy as your first system in my regards. If you're watching this video and you have budget around 200 euros and have speakers or you already have some great source and DAC, then go and buy this. This is amazing. But how does it fare against more expensive devices is something I want to test. I want also to expose the problems of this device by telling what improvements to make in order to be an amp killer in this price range. To me, Two aspects of improvements can be done in order this to be that giant killer. Detailed extraction does exist, but honestly, it likes a bit textures in order to truly fully realize it on soundstage and also to be given more presence and reach. Soundstage is great, but it could be better with a bigger dispersion. And please, I know this is hard when you have individual components like this, but somehow, Please get me a remote. I listen to a large variety of music. I constantly adjust volume. It kills the mood when I have to get out of my comfy chair to add and remove volume. 
I hear from a lot of reviewers on different channels how this beats even the 1000 euros amps. And I don't know any 1000 euro amps that this combination sounds better from. And don't get me wrong, it is not a detriment, quite contrary. I think you get for if you had, I don't know, 200 euros DAC in composition, almost 80 to 85% for 500 euros less. And I think that is a great bargain. While I don't know any integrated amp in this price range, I know few budget amps and I will try to compare this combination with some of them. In reality, this fights easily with amps in around 400 to 600 euros price range. But what these integrated have under their sleeve is something called uniqueness and characteristics in their branding. Think about it. Rega Brio. What do you think when I first say that name? Incredible detail, resolution and extraction. That is Brio for you. Oh, oh for example, Rotel A11. An incredible sound dispersion and soundstage in this budget level. Yep, that is Rotel for you. Yes, these amps I mentioned do provide that better than FOSC combination, but they are more expensive. But FOSC is so stable and sure-footed and does everything good that it is hard for me to not recommend FOSC, even though, even though I can see some more expensive amps deliver some things better. But FOSI does everything good and in much smaller and cheaper package. And if FOSI can be a killer of something, it is certainly a budget options of top brands. It is not a killer of giants, even though it is a nice clickbait title. But it is not even trying to be. And good thing with this combo, while I cannot see I use my trusted Denon PMA600NE as my PC's bridge to speakers, I can see this combination doing so as it is much more compact and can fit on a table. The versatility in that regard is enormous. Conclusion to all this is that I am surprised and as far as my experience go, this opened my horizons. In that, I think there can be a lot of jewels in the sea of hi-fi electronics, even in this really cheap price range. Definitely, I will try to explore that ocean and you will see more reviews like this in future. But this great combo of warm tube amps and class D precision, which creates a magical combination that easier rival much more expensive amps. You get enough separation transparency, help by class D, and sprinkle that with a hint of warmth to create a more rounded and weightier presentation. You will get dynamics and soundstage open and explorable, and the details in top end to envision of all those instruments on soundstage. Certainly, this is worth every penny, and if you do not need a large variety of connections and even that could be easily helped with accompanying deck, you have a winner here. It is a great first gear, no, it is a great gear overall that will make your hi-fi odysseys far more enjoyable. So I give big praise to Fossey here and keep making these wonderful devices and I can't wait to hear more from them. If you enjoy this video, Please like and subscribe or donate via Patreon. Every help, even the smallest one, is appreciable. Keep daydreaming and see you in the next video. Bye!